This is a dynamic optimization problem that we're going to solve. Uh, this is a mathematical statement of that problem. We're going to maximize uh, this quantity, 1 minus x1, at the final time. Okay, final time is equal to 12. Um, and uh, we're going to do that by changing the values of u. So uh, u is going to be between 0 and 1. And uh, you know, at every time point in that horizon, we can have a different u value. Okay, so u could change like that, and then x1 and x2 might uh, do something like this. Uh, we would look at the very final time and do 1 minus um, x1 and uh, x2. Okay, and then we're going to try to maximize that. And also, so in order for that to take place, we're going to need to make these values um, as low as possible, okay, um, to be able to maximize uh, because we're subtracting x1 and x2. Okay, so, um, but we're subject to a couple differential equations. Uh, dynamic equations x1 dx1 dt is equal to this and dx2 dt is equal to this. Um, <clears throat> if you'd like to get the files for this as we go through and uh, just follow along maybe solve it yourself in MATLAB or Python, uh, just come to the uh, apmonitor.com website, uh, select uh, take a course, and then come to the dynamic optimization course, or you can just type in that address in your web browser, and then come down to benchmarks, um, that's where we're going to be working, and then go all the way down to example 5. Okay, so this is example 5, you can go ahead and just uh, download those files and you can follow along. All right, so I'm gonna first of all go ahead and create my uh, model file. And so I have a couple parameters, uh, parameter P and U. P is gonna be used to just indicate I want the final time. It's gonna be zero everywhere except one at the end. U can be between uh, lower bound of zero and upper bound of one. So I'm gonna do greater than or equal to zero, less than or equal to one. Here are my variables, x1 and x2. I'm gonna give them some initial conditions. x1 is initially equal to one, x2 initially equal to zero. Okay, and then I have some equations. I'm gonna put in my objective function to maximize that quantity, one minus x1 minus x2, but I want it only at the very last point. So I have my p-value there, and then I have my differential equation for x1 equals uh, u times uh, that quantity and then x2 as well, um, and I'm just gonna add those expressions. Okay, so there's my model file, um, and now I wanna create a data file. Uh, the only thing I need in this is uh, time. I'm gonna put in uh, 0, 1, all the way up to uh, 10, and uh, actually I think I should've gone to uh, 12. Um, I'll change that in a, in a second. Uh, P is gonna go between zero and one. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some extra points right there at the beginning just uh, uh, because I've seen the solution and know that I need a few extra collocation points there. All right, so um, there I have, uh, okay, there I have the uh, CSV file and I'm gonna go ahead and close this now. You can, if you've already saved it, you don't need to save it again. Okay, so now I'm gonna create a MATLAB and Python script to be able to solve this. You can use either one, MATLAB or Python. Um, and so I'm just gonna do these side by side. Here's MATLAB, clear all the variables, close all the plots, clear the screen, and then define a server and an application name. And then we'll add the AP Monitor uh, path um, to uh, the functions that we need for solving this problem. Okay, and then we want to specify a server and application name in Python. On the right is Python, left is MATLAB. And then we'll just import the APM package, okay, that come in, in as part of that download. Okay, then we want to clear all the, um, the application from the server, load the model file, and load the data file. And I'll do that same thing in MATLAB. Um, okay, I have a couple options here. Uh, I'm just going to set the number of collocation nodes to four, solver to one. Dynamic optimization I mode is equal to six, um, and then MV type is one, which is uh, first order hold for my manipulated variables. 
Okay, and then I have my manipulated variable u, turn its status on, meaning it can become a degree of freedom for the solver. D cost, uh, you know, that's the change in, in u is, is uh, there's no penalty on that. I'll do the same thing in MATLAB here. Um, almost the same commands, just with, uh, with the semicolon at the end. Okay, back to Python. Uh, I'm gonna solve it. Okay, MATLAB as well, I'll go ahead and solve it, just capture the output. Um, and then I'll print the output. And same thing here on MATLAB, I'll display the output. Back to Python, I'll grab the solution uh, from the server and then I'll print the optimal solution. Okay, so it's gonna be one minus uh, y minus x1. Let me make this just a little bit bigger. Minus x2, I need to do that at the very end. So I'll put in this negative one right there. Let me make this just a little bit bigger again. Okay, and then I also need to make this into a, a string, okay, because I'm combining it with the optimal solution string as well. Okay, let me do this in MATLAB as well. Okay, let me grab this divider and I'll move it over. Okay, that's not wanting to let me do it. Okay, come on, let's, um, uh, okay. Select go. Oh no, it's not letting me do it. Um, let me see if I can do this one more time. No, it doesn't want to let me do it. Okay, so I'm just going to finish this off in, I'll just do the rest of the commands in uh, MATLAB here and create my figures. I'll just finish it off in Python. It's gonna be very similar in MATLAB and Python. Okay, so I have my matplotlib. Um, and then I'll create a new figure, and then I'll just plot the solution, u and x as well, and uh, then I'll just show the plot. Okay, so I have it in MATLAB and Python. I'm gonna close this out in, uh, in okay, yeah, close that out, and then uh, what we'll do is we'll go back over to the MATLAB and Python. I'll go ahead and open this up in MATLAB. Okay, and then run it. And this will, um, you can see right at the beginning and the end, we need to add a couple extra points just because there's some interesting things happening right there at the end. And then you can see the values of X1 and X2. Okay, so X1 is somewhere down here uh, below uh, 0.6 and X2 is somewhere just above zero right there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and solve this in, um, let me go ahead and solve it in Python as well. Okay, I'll edit it with IDLE, or I could just double click it there and it might be able to run it. Okay, so there is my solution, same solution in MATLAB and Python. So I wanna take it one step further, um, just show um, as the value of u changes. Let me get back to that plot just one more time. Okay, run it again. Okay, it looks like uh, the value of u is somewhere around about point or 0.2 to 0 0.3, okay, for most of the time. Now let's just say we, um, we were trying to come up with the solution. We said, well, the value of u has to be constant over that entire time horizon. All right, so um, let's, uh, let's just investigate what the objective function does. Okay, so open up this, um, one of these sensitivity plots here, okay? We're going to plot uh, sensitivity, so we're going to do exactly the same thing that we did before. Um, and uh, let me just go ahead and clear all, close all, and clear the screen. Okay, um, and then uh, load the server and application, load the model. But instead of just solving this once, um, let's go ahead and loop through and give our u value uh, a value between 0 and 1. So we're going to put 11 equally spaced values between 0 and 1, so it'll be 0, 0.1, 0 0.2. And then uh, we'll insert that with the APM MES uh, function here, and then solve it, and then record the objective function. We'll also plot all of those solutions as well. So we want to see how our objective function changes with us just changing the value of u uh, manually. So we have uh, the status is off, so uh, we're going to be changing the value of u, not the solver. Uh, we've also defined this u value as a uh, fv. Um, so if it's an mv, it can vary at every point in the horizon. If it's an fv, a fixed value, it will just stay constant at every point in the horizon. 
Um, and uh, we want to just be able to look at our objective functions. So this is kind of like a sensitivity analysis. See how our solution changes as we change the value of u. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and plot, um, you know, the value of u and x and add some uh, labels there. Then I'll also plot u versus the objective function and just see how the objective function changes if we just had a constant u value. Okay, so I'll go ahead and run this. Um, so there are my optimal solutions it created for those 11 points. And it said that my optimal solution, if I just had to choose one u value, um, it's going to be right about here, 0.2. Okay, and that's about what we got from our other figure as well. Let's just go ahead and look at all of the solutions. Uh, so here's my u value here, 0 to 1. Okay, it's so just constant over the horizon. And there you can see the value of x1 as it changes, and then the value of x2 as well. Okay, so um, we want to try to get the one that has a combination of the lowest x1 plus x2. Um, that's going to help us get, uh, you know, maximize that objective function. Okay, I'll go ahead and run this in uh, Python as well, this sensitivity. Um, okay, and then I'll go ahead and run it. It'll generate those uh, 10 or 11 uh, solutions. You can see the optimal solutions being generated. And there is my same objective function with respect to u. I just have to pick one u value. And then there are my plots as well for u, x1, and x2. Okay, so that is the uh, conclusion of this tutorial. Again, you can come just download the files here from the apmonitor.com website and also post uh, this video there as well.